Hey, everybody. So today I want to show you how to um, use Destiny, our online library catalog. Okay, so Destiny is the place you go if you want to look up a book and see if the library owns it or see if it's in or whether or not someone else has it checked out. Um, you can also go there and check out ebooks. You can write reviews for our books. You can put a book on hold. Um, you can see what books you have checked out and you can renew the books that you already have checked out. Okay, so Destiny is a place where you can do a lot of different things um, with your library books. Okay, so in order to get to Destiny, you're gonna start out at your school's homepage. Okay, we gotta get to the library's website first. Um, so I'm on Freedom's page. Obviously, if you go to Liberty or Heritage, you'll go to your school site. Um, they will look and work exactly the same. Okay, so go to your school site, go to the academics drop down menu, and then go down where it says library. Okay, so this will take you to the library's homepage. Okay, and then um, we're going to click over here on the link on the right side that says books and ebooks right here. Okay. <clears throat> now, underneath the video, there is a link to the online catalog that is Destiny. Okay, that's the name of our online catalog. Um, so we're going to click there in just a second. But before we do that, um, just kind of a heads up. This is like the one stop shop video that will show you how to do all the different things on Destiny, which means it's going to be a little bit longer. OK, um, if you're already familiar with Destiny or you've already seen this video before and you just need a review on how to do one specific thing, like how to put a book on hold or how to write a review, scroll down a little bit and you'll see we have video tutorials specifically on how to put a book on hold, how to write a review. Um, and if you need to know how to check out ebooks, you can click right here on the ebooks link and it'll take you to the page that has a video on how to check out ebooks. OK. All right, so to get to Destiny, we click right here where it says online catalog, and that will open it up for us. Okay. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to do when you open up Destiny is to log in to your account, okay? Honestly, you can do this at any point in the process. You don't have to do this first, but I find if it's a whole lot easier if you just go ahead and do this. Okay, so to log in um, up here in the upper right corner, there is a login link. Just go ahead and click there. Okay, and then you need to type in your username and password. Okay, so yours is going to look different than mine because you're students and I'm not. Um, your username is your student ID number. Okay, so go ahead and type in your student ID number. That's the number that's on your student ID card. Okay, and then your password is your birthday. Now, most of you are probably familiar with how we do this in the district. Um, it's a little backwards from what we're used to because the year comes first, okay? So to type it in correctly, you have to do the four-digit year, then the two-digit month, and the two-digit date, okay? So if my birthday is January 5th, 2005, I'm going to type in 2005 for the year, 01 for January, the first month, and 05 for the day because I was born on January 5th. Okay, so it's four digit year, two digit month, two digit date for your birthday. And then go ahead and click on submit to log in. Now from here, there are a whole bunch of different things you can do on Destiny. Um, mainly it's all about finding books um, or finding out, um, you know, like what books you have checked out, renewing, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here on this homepage, you can see the first carousel has recently added books. So these are new books, new books that we've just bought for the library. Okay, so you can kind of scroll through that carousel and see what new things we have. Okay, underneath that, the next one is um, a list of popular titles. Um, these are books that have either just been checked out by other students at your school or just been checked back into the library. So if you want to know what other um, students at your school are reading, you can look here at the popular titles carousel and see. Okay. Um, the next carousel is called topics. These are genres, okay, different types of books. So you can see fantasy, science fiction, mystery. Um, if you're a big fan of a particular genre, and you just, you know, you want to read a fantasy book, but you don't have a particular one in mind. 
um, you can go ahead and click here on the fantasy um, icon and it will take you to a list of fantasy books that our library owns and you can just kind of browse through those and see if something catches your eye. Okay. And then finally, the last carousel is our ebooks. Okay. Um, to check out an ebook, you do that right here in Destiny. Okay. You can click on the cover and then tell them uh, that you want to check out the ebook. Okay. Um, and then to read it uh, right here, you check it out using this, this button right here. Um, and then if you want to read it, you can either do it right on your desktop, right here on your computer, or um, you can download a Destiny app to your phone and read it on your phone, okay? Now, I'm not gonna take you through all the details on how to do that, because as I mentioned earlier, there is actually a video specifically on how to check out eBooks, and it will show you how to do that, okay? So if you wanna check out an eBook, you can go ahead and take a look at that video. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what is here on this very first page, okay? Um, if you have already in mind a specific book that you are interested in and you wanna just see if we have that one book or if you have a favorite author and you wanna look and see what books we have by that author, you can go ahead and do a search. And to do that, you're gonna click on the search icon here in the upper right corner. That will take you to a search screen, okay? So then you can either type in the, the author's name or the name of the book, or you can type in a topic, okay? Like if you wanna look up and see what books we have on basketball, for example, um, you could type in basketball. In fact, I think that's what I'll, okay? So you can type in a title, uh, a person's name, an author's name, or a topic. And you're gonna get back a list of results. So according to this, we have 55 books about basketball and you can go ahead and scroll through and see um, what we have, okay? Now, obviously you're going to notice that some of our books are in, okay? And they have this little green tab on the cover that says in. So those are books that are actually on the shelf in the library that you could check out today. Or some books are checked out and they've got a red tab and it says out. Okay, that means that somebody else already has the book checked out and you can't get it right now. Now, what you can do if there's a book that you really, really want to read, um, let's say you really want to read this book, Beta Ball, um, but somebody else has it checked out, you can click on the um, cover or on the, the box for the book, okay, and then you can put it on hold. And that means when that person brings this book back, we'll let you know that the book is in, we'll email you at your um, school email address. Okay, it's gonna be your school email address, your student ID number at luhsd.net, which you check using Outlook. And that's where we're gonna get in touch with you to let you know that your book is in, okay? We don't have access to your personal email account, okay? We don't know what your personal email address is. So if you have a Gmail account, um, we don't know it. So we're gonna email you at your student um, school email address, okay? Now you can also put books that are in on hold if you want us to pull them for you or hold them at the desk so that you can just stop in and pick them up real quickly. That's, that's an option too. Still check your student email before you physically come in and pick up the book just to make sure that we were able to find it and that we've got it all ready for you, okay? Now, um, once you find a book that you like, um, if you are physically in the library or you're gonna go find it for yourself, um, the main thing that you need to know is the call number right here. The call number is going to tell you where to find it on the shelf. So if it has a number like this, a Dewey Decimal number, that means it's a nonfiction book. Um, if we scroll down through here, eventually we're gonna get to some fiction books like this one here. Okay, that starts with an F and just has letters. These are fiction or they're made up stories that are mostly about, in this case, basketball, okay? So these call numbers tell you where to locate things on the shelves in the library. If you don't know your way around the library that well and you aren't sure where to go, even once you have the call number, just ask a library staff member and we'll help you find your book. All right, so there are some other things that Destiny also does. Um, you can take a look up here at the top 
and where it says my stuff, you can click there and you get a drop down menu that will show you first off what books you have checked out if you click. Okay, so it will show you everything you have checked out. Um, and then it will also uh, let you know if your book is overdue. Okay, which you can see I have a whole bunch of overdue books that I need to renew. They were due over summer um, and I haven't brought them back and I haven't renewed them yet. Okay, um, so if you want to renew your book, you can click here on the little three dots and it gives you the option to actually renew. Okay, so you can do that for yourself. Um, otherwise, if you um, want to, you can always get in touch with a library staff member and we can renew the book for you. Okay. Also from here, either using this white bar or using the drop down my stuff menu, um, you can see the history, all the books that you have checked out in the past. So these would be books that you checked out either right now or that you checked out and you returned to the library. Okay, so if you had a book check that you checked out like last year and you don't remember what the name of it was, you might be able to look here and find it um, and find out what the name was. You can also see here what books you have on hold. Um, if you mark the book as a favorite, uh, maybe like it's a book that you don't have time to read now, but you want to come back or something like that, um, you can click on favorites. Okay. Um, and then under fines, you're not going to find anything there because we don't charge library fines. Um, so we only charge you if you have lost the book. Okay. So if you do have a fine, it's going to be because you lost the book and did not bring it back, in which case we will charge you, uh, but we don't charge late fees. Okay, so as long as you bring the book back to us, there aren't going to be any fines. All right, so my stuff is where you go to find out all about your own library account. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you is the collections button right here. Okay, so collections are basically book lists. All right. Um, and you can um, click on collections and see all the different book lists that we've put together for you. Okay. Now, some of these are book lists for particular assignments. Okay. Others are book lists that just might be interesting to you. Okay. So if you see a book list that you want to look more closely at, you can click on the, the box for the list and it will actually open up the list. Um, some book lists just have, you know, 15, 20, 25 titles on them. Um, this particular one has 77 items on it. So you can scroll through and look at these. Okay. Um, if you see one that looks interesting, you can click on the cover. Okay. And it will open it up and um, give you more information about the book. Okay, um, and that is true no matter where you are in Destiny. If you click on the book cover, it will open up the record for the book, which gives you the title. It, um, in this case, this is an ebook, so it will let us check it out right here. Um, it gives us an overview, like a one sentence summary of the book. Okay, um, also, this is where you would go if you want to add a review. Okay, so if you want to post a review, of a book uh, for other students to read. Um, you go into the, this page, the record for the book, click here where it says add review um, and it will let you post a review. Okay. Um, we have, as I said earlier, a separate video that walks you step-by-step step on how to post a review. So if that's something you're interested in doing, um, you can go ahead and watch that video. Okay. And then reviews, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see in this um, white toolbar here, if we click over on reviews, it will give you any student reviews that have been posted. And we don't have any for this particular title yet, but that's where they'll show up if they do. Okay. And then to get back home, you can either you can click right up here or here, and it will take you back to the Destiny home page. Okay. So that's just a little bit about all of the different things um, that Destiny will do. Okay. Um, hopefully you will take some time to familiarize yourself with it, um, use it to find books, to put books on hold, to manage your own library account. Um, we'd love to see you write some reviews for some of the books that you do read and enjoy. Um, and if you ever have any questions um, on how to use Destiny, you can chat with us or you can email us. Um, if you go to the library's website, 
and go over here on the right side and click on the welcome tab that will take you back to that very first library page. Okay. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you will see our ask a librarian function where we have a chat box where you can chat with us um, or you can email me if the chat is not active. Um, the chat's open usually during school hours, but if it's not, or if it's not school hours, you can email me with any questions. You okay. All right, um, I hope that that was helpful to you and that you'll be able to use Destiny now um, like a pro. Um, if not, and you do have questions, please let me know and I will be happy um, to help you out. Have a great day and enjoy your books.